It's Archie Slaymaker for International Boxing News. And I'm joined with Hamza Shiraz. Hamza, how is camp going out in LA? Yeah, it's going great, mate. It's going great. It's my fifth fifth camp here now, over here in LA. Um, yeah, man, it's like I said, don't get don't get any easier. It always gets hard, but you know, putting in the graft and getting the results. You did say it's your it's your fifth camp. Obviously, how comes you moved out there in the first place? Obviously, the dedication to obviously go out to LA and train every fight to then probably come back and fight in the UK. What was the reason for the move? Do you know what it was? I've always set out. I've always set out to come to America and and almost do my camps there because it's, it's where the pinnacle of the sport is at. Really, do you know what I mean everyone from from your Russia's, from your Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Cuba, everyone, everyone comes over here. It's almost like the hub where they all come to train with the great trainer. Do you know what I mean like you got the likes of uh, Freddie Roach, Buddy McGurk, um, uh, Ricky, Joe, Joe Goose, and all these guys over here. So. It's like, like I said, it's almost the hub, and luckily, luckily enough, I've now got the financial support to come over here and make it happen, man. That's perfect. Obviously, fifth camp. Obviously, do you have a fight date at all? I don't know if you can let let anyone else know, but do you yeah. have a fight date? No, I do have a fight. I do have a fight date, but obviously, I can't say say anything just yet. It should be announced hopefully end end of the week, the upcoming week, hopefully, and yeah, hopefully, it'll be another big one. There are a few Queensbury cards going on, obviously, November, December. There is one going on November 5th, possibly Zach Parker headlining with Baluta and Davis on the undercard. And we've also got November 26th with Daniel Dubois. No, yeah. at December, there's been not really any shows been announced for yet from Queensbury. Obviously, the Tyson Fury fight that might happen on December 3rd at the Principality. But hopefully, yeah. you'll see on one of those cards. Yeah, God willing, man. Either one of them, it'd be, it'd be a good one. Obviously, there, there will be three cards there and they're all great cards. So hopefully, we'll see you out on one of those ones. Just with regard to that, we there is a fight that was proposed to yourself and it was Yana Beck for the w, WBO middleweight yeah. title. Was was that an offer that did that was obviously tempting to take? Obviously, we now made aware Denzel Bentley is yeah. fighting Yana Beck for the middleweight title. How come you didn't take that fight? Do you know what I found out I found out via your your page? I didn't know myself, to be honest with you. I saw it. And then when I see it, I was like, what is this even true? And then um, obviously I spoke to my manager Andy Ailey, and then he goes, "Yeah, he goes, but he goes, um, it just they don't make sense now." And I was like, "Yeah, but whatever, really, whatever, whatever the weather." So, um, but yeah, that's how I found out. I found out for, for your page, and I remember I was on the flight. I was I was actually in the air when I found out I was coming to LA, and I was like, "Yeah, I was like, it's it's great, isn't it? Your 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 name getting mixed upon these great fighters." But yeah, listen, next year I'll definitely definitely fight for world title, hundred percent. Was it your call? To not take the fight, or was that your the managers? Obviously, I know you did say it, you found out for our for ourselves, yeah. but was that yourself who said no, or, or was that your managers? You said it, it didn't really make sense at the moment. No, no, definitely what Michael. Do you know what I mean, as a as a fighter, you go in and you fight anyone, and I've done plenty around sparring with with Johnny Beck as well, so it was great. But we'd, like I said, didn't we, I found out via your page, and then it didn't even get proposed to us via my, my team. Do you know what I mean? So then I kind of kind of made made kind of made sense what what the plan was now, but. Uh, yeah, hopefully the next next fight. Hopefully once it gets announced, once an opponent gets confirmed, it'll be it'll be a it'll be it'll be a big one, good one. Hopefully, perfect. Obviously, you are ranked eleven with the WBO and fourteen with the WBC. I know you did say that next year you'll be ready to fight for a title. Was that correct? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. I'm aiming, I'm aiming for for mid or, or end of the year. Hopefully, um, there is there is no rush really because I mean I still got plenty of time, plenty of. Um, Plenty, yeah, plenty of time on my side, but listen, I think I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in this game to like mess around. Do you know what I mean? So, hopefully, when after the next this next fire, hopefully, it'll put me in a, in a in an even better position where it almost makes sense for these fighters to fight me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So obviously, we will go on to the, the Denzel Bentley fight. Obviously, that was a fight that I know you were interested in. Yeah. He's obviously called your name. There's been a lot of back and forth, but now we're understood Denzel yeah. Bentley is fighting Yana Beck. For the WBO middleweight title, how do you see that fight playing out? I see it playing off. I think Johnny Beck wins personally, but um, let's see. You never know in boxing, innit? You never know, especially like, especially nowadays, man. You don't know who can pull off what and and how they're gonna do it. So, but yeah, I'm favouring. Is that a bag? Sorry. Uh, just yeah. that, obviously, win or lose, um, if he does win or lose that fight, Denzel Bentley, I know he said 
You'll be going on to bigger and better things next year if that world title fight does come. But that is still a fight that interests you. Yeah, no, one hundred percent. It's a, it's a great. It's still, regardless of the outcome of the fight, it's still a great domestic fight for next year. Do you know what I mean? It's still a great fight, and um, yeah, we'll fight for the number one middleweight spot in um, Frank Stable. <laughs> I was going to say that would be a huge fight and most certainly a headliner, headliner worthy fight. And I'm pretty sure loads of fans. You saw the uproar on Twitter when when both your names got put together. Yeah, I don't think there was a bad. Thing mentioned about that fight. I think everyone would be very excited from that. Obviously, we will touch on your age. You, you're only 23 years old, and there yeah. is a lot of there is a lot of pressure on your shoulders because obviously, obviously Frank Warren coming out and says future world champion. Your headlining cards. You've been offered a world title fight already. How are you actually yeah. dealing dealing with all that pressure at, at just 23 years old? Joe, I don't really don't really find it pressure because from my amateur career, as soon as I turned pro, nothing was, in all honesty, nothing was really expected of me, honestly. Nothing was, obviously myself, I knew what what I was going to set out to achieve and what I am achieving. Obviously, I knew personally I was going to do it. But, you know, to everyone else, it's more, it's more of a shock. So, like, oh, how, like, he wasn't expected to do do these things in the sport. So, it's not really pressured, you know, that I just take it all in my stride and I just, I just almost, like, forget that these things are even said I just carry on like always always joy is you're always chasing an, an, another opponent or a, or a next date once the fight gets announced or once a few opponents names gets mentioned your 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 mind automatically locks onto that onto that date and onto that fight so you keep going you keep winning and before you know it like, like I said you, you get your world title opportunities and then there you are do you know what I mean top of the world I thought it was one of the biggest accolades that I have watched in a in a recent interview Obviously, you did win Young Fighter of the Year. And some of the yeah. fighters that, that have won that title have gone on to achieve remarkable things. I know you said you, you don't deal with that pressure, but surely there there is some sort of pressure there because of the fighters that have won that award. Yeah, no, when I see the when I see when I did see the names of it, it wasn't it wasn't pressure, but it's almost like, right, listen, if 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 your name's been put in the books with them, you have you have to do it now, regardless. You have to go in there go and achieve achieve the great things. But I I wouldn't say it's pressure. I'd say it's more like motivation. Do you know what I mean? It's more motivation to go out there and, and get to the level these guys got to. Obviously, there is a level that you want to achieve. And obviously, whether that be a world champion, one way class, or move on to bigger and better things, that award is in itself is such a remarkable achievement. Obviously, to see your name next to all those names, it, yeah. is, it is remarkable. Obviously, there is a, a different type of pressure. I will go back to two fights ago with, with Bradley Ski, I know this has been touched yeah. on a lot of, on a lot of interviews. Obviously, that yeah. wasn't that wasn't such pressure, but dealing with obviously the comments online, how did you deal with that? Because people were saying some terrible things online. It was yeah. obviously not 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 a great time. How how did you deal with that? You know, well, I didn't I didn't really play into it too much. I was like, I used to read the comments, and obviously, it's a bit like it's different if anyone says it to your face in front of you. But listen, I had probably like I'd say. 10,000 people just abused me and I swear to God to this day not one person has said nothing to me in person it's all online do you know what I mean it's all it's all online and it's it's all um, it's just all rubbish isn't it at the end of the day it don't really don't really get to me no I totally understand that. obviously it's a bit of a different question now like when you were growing up watching boxing who who was your inspirations who did you look up to do you know that I think I've always answered questions it's been my uncle he's the one who got me into it he's the one who always like whenever it was mentioned, he was the one doing it. Or your uncle's done this. Your uncle was a fighter. He achieved this. He achieved that. And then, like, as a kid, you think yeah, you get more inquisitive about things. And then, as I started growing up, I was asking him a lot more questions, and I was just a lot more. I was just wondering like what it's actually like until I actually got in there and done it myself. Then, and that yeah, then like I said, that's what started at eight twenty three. Now I ain't looked back since. Perfect. Obviously. With regard to that, obviously, just the the achievements and hopefully watching you come on to bigger and better things, everyone will be able to see that. Everyone's seen that in your previous fights already. Even even in your last fight, obviously, you were put down for the first time in your yeah. career as a professional. How, how did that feel? It was more. It was more of a shock. I don't want to hurt or not, but it was more. Of a, it was more of a shock because I didn't respect his power or anything like that. So I walked straight into a right hand, and before you. Uh, had the ref counting in my face and I was 
at the end of the round, I started lighting the fire for me to get up and just knock him out. That's what I've done. <laughs> That's perfect. Obviously, you are on a you are on a knockout streak as well. So hopefully that can continue. You're an exciting fight in and out the ring. So hopefully you can see more of that, and hopefully your upcoming fight news will be soon, like you said. Yeah, William. Yeah, so if you have the end of get it before. So. <laughs> No, that's perfect. Still there? Yeah, st- still here. It's a bit, it's a bit off and on with with the internet connection, but everything has been fine. And I will say, thank you, Hamza Shiraz, for talking to International Boxing News today. No worries. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you.